Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are back with another speed build video in our Pontisu. And in this episode, we are going to start working on the outdoor habitat for the California sea lion. And in case you've missed it, in the previous episode, we already built the indoor show area for the sea lions. I will make sure to link that video in the description of this video if you want to check out this episode as well. Now quickly, before we start talking about this new episode, I would like to inform you all, starting this week, I will be uploading videos again to my second YouTube channel, The Lady Gamer. We will play a mixture of all different kinds of games there that I would love to play, but don't really find fitting on this channel. We will do some first look videos, but also we'll be making some short series of games I just really like to play. So we started like with a first look video of Festival Tycoon, Factory Town, we will be uh, checking out new games soon as well on the channel. And soon I will be starting a City Skyline series on that channel as well because I just really desperately want to play City Skylines but it just doesn't really match this channel too well to be honest. So I think The Lady Gamer is just a perfect place for me to play games that I just really want to play without having the feeling that it doesn't exactly match this channel. Obviously, there are going to be a lot more games in the future as well. So if you're interested in seeing me play some other games next to Planet Zoo, I would love to see you all there as well uh, on my The Lady Gamer channel. And I will make sure to put a link in the description of this video in the pinned comments as well of the comment section so you can easily find this second channel if you are, of course, not subscribed yet. All right, now back to this California sea lion habitat because in a previous episode with the indoor area, I asked you all if you knew some cool zoos I could maybe use for the outdoor area. And I got some really great suggestions in the comments. Like I got a suggestion from Schnefka of the Nuremberg Tiergarten because they have like this big outdoor habitat for the California sea lion. So it would be perfect to use but unfortunately, I could not really find a clear image with how the whole outdoor area looked like. So I wasn't really able to use this suggestion as inspiration for this habitat, unfortunately. But thank you so much for the suggestion, of course. And Hawk Hawk suggested the Oasis Park in Fuerteventura because this really has a gorgeous sea lion habitat, but also wasn't able to really find good pictures from this outdoor area either. So not sure if they only have like this show area because I did find some pictures of that. Uh, of the, or that they also have like a normal sea lion habitat like as we already have like a show area on the inside of the sea lions I, I would like to go for a bit more natural for the outdoor area in Pondisu I think but really do appreciate the suggestion thank you so much for that and another suggestion from I am Cactus was the seal habitat of the Virginia Aquarium and Marine Science Center because they have like this really great underwater viewing gallery. Now it was really hard to find a clear picture of this habitat, like it did find a map or something uh, on uh, like that on their website, but it didn't really show much of the sea lion, uh, the sea lion, <laughs> the sea habitat or how they like decorated it. So later on, I did find like a short video clip on YouTube showing a little bit of the underwater viewing you mentioned. And I did find this very inspiring. So we're definitely going to use a little bit of this as an idea for the underwater viewing gallery part of this sea lion habitat. Thank you so much for this suggestion. And another suggestion came from Romeo Boyku with the sea lion habitat from the Bronx Zoo. This definitely is a really nice habitat for inspiration for outdoor habitat. So this is definitely one we are going to use as inspiration as well for the sea lion habitat. Like not one-on-one -on -one where we're just using it as inspiration. So it's not like recreations, but just so you guys have an idea of what we are using for inspiration for this whole outdoor area. But thank you so much, Romeo, also for this suggestion. And the last suggestion came from Antonio R mentioning the sea lion sound at the St. Louis Zoo. And this is probably my most favorite habitat out of all the suggestions. Like if we would not have already made like this indoor show area, then I would have definitely used this whole habitat as inspiration for a sea lion's habitat. So I'm definitely going to save this habitat for a future build of one of our zoos. So maybe I will use this one for a tropical habitat in our African Obaya Zoo if I decide to expand like this zoo with a few other continent animals as well. 
like a really great habitat for inspiration. I will link this one in the description of this video so you can all see what I'm talking about. Absolutely love the suggestion, but I just don't think as we're already halfway with this sea lion habitat in Pontesu that we should go for this one in Pontesu, but I'm definitely going to use that one as inspiration for one of our future builds for a, a sea lion habitat because I absolutely love it. So thank you so much, Antonio, for that suggestion as well. I really do appreciate all the help of you guys and everyone watching right now with all the suggestions you are giving me in previous episodes. Definitely always keep them coming. But as you can tell, it's sometimes really, really hard, even if you suggest something that if there are clear images. So uh, yeah, just maybe try to see if there are pictures in general of the, the habitats uh, you will suggest to me because, <laughs> well, not uh, of not all the habitats are our pictures, unfortunately. I wish there was like tons of pictures around of all zoo habitats, but maybe that is something we, we should all take care of. Like if we go to zoos the next time, don't only make pictures of the animals, but make pictures of the habitat and then upload them. So all of us Planet Zoo players can use that for inspiration. I think that would be just amazing. If we would all just start doing this from now on, I think there is going to be tons of more inspiration out there for every Planet Zoo player to use over the coming years. So I think that would be just super amazing. I know that I'm going to do it if I go to a zoo again, but... I, I think that's a cool thing, isn't it? Yeah, I think we should all collectively start doing that from now on. Who is with me? Let me know in the comments down below. So yeah, as I said, like for this habitat, we will be using the underwater viewing of the seal habitat of the Virginia Aquarium Marine Science Center and the outdoor area of the sea lion habitat from the Bronx Zoo. Now, since this build took me a lot longer than I wanted to, we are going to divide this outdoor area into two different episodes, unfortunately, as I also really don't want to rush things. And I just really had some issues with creating the glassy walls and stuff. It all took a lot longer. So yeah, I really don't want to rush things out for uh, this outdoor habitat. So this first part will be inspired of the Bronx Zoo habitat, and the next part will be inspired of the big underwater viewing gallery of the Marine Science Center. And we are also going to create a big seating area around this underwater viewing gallery. And this seating area will not like function like the indoor show habitat, because if I'm correct, you can't really add two animal talking points to one habitat. Unless we could just add the seating to the indoor talking point to at least have like guests sitting there. I'm not really sure if that works. Did anyone watching right now actually try to do this? Please do let me know in the comments down below if you can either like use two different talking points on one habitat or maybe you just used one with different seating areas around it. I'm not really sure if there's like a maximum or a minimum distance for the seating areas around the talking point. Definitely something we should look into. So let's quickly talk a little bit about the habitat build as I keep on rambling about so many things I totally forget to actually talk about what we're doing. As so in the beginning of the video you saw me digging out like terrain to basically draw out where I want everything to be and on the left side of the area is the area that we will be working on for this video. It really was a challenge to make these round shaped areas, as I said, like with the glass. But in the end, I was able to create like a perfect or pretty perfect round shaped glass wall with the help of like the mud pillar technique. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I would highly suggest watching my top 10 building tips and tricks videos of Planet Zoo, where I actually explain this technique as well. Definitely very, very useful for creating round shapes of any kind. So what I thought was really cool to use of the Bronx Zoo habitat was like the concrete fence or a wall actually around the pool and the open space in between the water and the gas. So this was definitely a lot of fun to play around with. Like we're basically creating two different water levels, like one for the habitat itself and one on the lower part around it making it look like this area will simply like catch the spilled water coming out of the habitat because of all the splashing and stuff from the sea lions. And then they probably filter all the water that is falling down there uh, to pump it back into the habitat later on or something like that. 
Now you see we work a lot with these separate walls throughout this build, like because I really wanted to make sure there is enough space for the sea lions to swim around as their traverse area is quite annoying in the game to be honest. But obviously we will be deleting all these uh, temperate walls in a later stage. So the path in the viewing gallery for the guests will be slightly higher than the water level, also to make sure that the guests are actually looking down into the habitat and can also see a little bit through the water where the sea lions will be swimming, obviously. Also in between the lower area and the path, there will be like this planter, just like you see in the real life picture. To make it less obvious, there is like this lower area in between the guests and the habitat. And I, I think this really uh, creates this more dense and, and cozy feeling as well to have like this green in between the guests and the habitat. So for the fence around the path, I use like these rounded shape fence from the aquatic pack. As I feel like this is the best fitting fence to use for this aquatic habitat. Like it would have been a lot easier and better looking if I would have used like the blue pad with like this integrated aquatic fence. But this fence is pointing to the outside instead of the inside. So I didn't really like how this was looking and I really wanted to have this fence uh, pointing like towards the guests if that makes any sense. Now for the land area of the sea lions, I really had to be careful because as I said, like their traversable area is a pain in the butt. So on one side, I wanted to have like this arch with the aquatic rocks, but I do think once I will let sea lions swim here, they are probably not able to use that side. Uh, but I think the area would be a little bit too plain and boring if we would remove that arch. So I, I think, at least I hope, it will be fine once we will be releasing the sea lions in the second part. So on the left side and the right side of the habitat, we will fill it all up with like rocks and trees in the later stage. I already added like a little bit on the left side of the habitat, but once we will finish like the other part of the habitat, we will definitely uh, pay more attention to this and also be adding more bushes and flowers for some uh, color and contrast, of course. And also you will see uh, at one point like the big dome we have and like the connection in between the indoor and the outdoor habitat. We will still be working on that uh, entrance exit part. So from one side to the other side. Right now it is still closed with just a glass wall uh, just to make sure that we know where the gate or the, the entrance will be. But as of right now, we did not decorate that just yet. Now in the back side of the habitat, you will also see me add like this little fence or like metal fence split off like this little section from the water also close to that, that entrance part that I was just talking about. Like I don't know exactly if this is really realistic, but I wanted to split off an area a little bit. So for example, the keepers could use this for some playing and some medical tests and training, for example. Uh, that's why I also added like this this ball to this area to, to resemble a little bit of that. I'm not really sure if that makes any sense, but hopefully it does. Now as I said, there is still a lot of work to do around the whole area. And of course to uh, create the big round on the rudder viewing gallery with seatings around it. I have still so many plans, but really just wasn't able to do this in one go. So stay tuned for the next Pond to Zoo episode where we are going to finish this whole area and release the amazing sea lions to this outdoor area as well. Thank you all so much again for all the suggestions for inspiration for this habitat. Really do appreciate it. Let me know in the comments down below what you all think of this first part of the outdoor sea lion habitat. Leave a like at the video if you enjoyed and if you find this video inspiring for your own builds. I really do appreciate that. Also, don't forget to check out my second YouTube channel, The Lady Gamer, for a lot more other fun game videos. And don't forget to subscribe, of course, to this channel and also my second channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching. Yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.